The Whittier area has some amazing local businesses, restaurants, and families. Our mission is to spotlight them and most importantly, tell their story. We are the Garcia team and this is Discovering Whittier. Garcia team in today's episode of Discovering Whittier we are doing our second segment of all the 16 parks in Whittier today is our ninth stop at Laurel Park Laurel Park Laurel Park relatively a small park located within a residential neighborhood on the corner of Jackmar Avenue and Cornell Street the park has a toddler playground which consists of toddler swings a small jungle gym and volleyball poles Great park to bring out your toddlers on a summer evening, Laurel Park. All right, so this has been Laurel Park. Off to our next spot. Oh yeah, here we are, our next location. Whew. So here we are, this is location number 10, Anaconda Park, yeah. Anaconda Park, located just below Whittier Boulevard on the corner of Anaconda Street and Ben-Hur Avenue. The park sits within a residential neighborhood and is somewhat a small park. If you're driving too fast on Anaconda, you might just miss it. The park consists of basketball courts, a fitness station, jogging trail, a children's playground, picnic tables, and of course, barbecue pits. This is definitely a nice park to visit. So we are here at Murphy Ranch Park. Our 11th park location. Yes. Yes. Murphy Ranch Park, located in Friendly Hills on the corner of Youngwood Drive and Las Cumbres Drive. Now this park is quite large, approximately 48 acres of beautiful trees, wilderness, and a variety of wildflowers. The park consists of a 1.7 mile loop trail, which is ideal for horseback riding, mountain biking, walking your dog, hiking, and bird watching. This park is very serene and peaceful. Murphy Ranch Park. Okay, this has been Murphy Ranch Park. Out to our next location. See Let's you. go. All right. Hello, this is our 12th stop and we are at Leffingwell Ranch Park. Yes. Leffingwell Ranch Park, located on the corner of Santa Gertrudis, Avenue and Starbucks Street, right next to the YMCA and the Public Library. This park is within walking distance to the Whitwood Mall and consists of tennis courts which are lit up at night and are actually free. It has a small kids playground, picnic tables and barbecue pits. I myself wasn't aware that this park existed until just recently. This is a nice park to visit. Hey folks, we made it to Stop 13 Parnell Park right in the corner of Lambert and Scott. Parnell Park, located on the corner of Lambert Road and Scott Avenue. This is a great park to visit and it has a variety of activities to do. The park has a storybook zoo, which consists of birds, miniature horses, alpacas, pot belly pigs, tortoises, and reptiles. There are also basketball courts, a playground, softball field, senior center, banquet rooms, picnic tables, and barbecue pits. The park hosts a few concerts in the park during the summer. This is one of my favorite parks. I used to visit this park with my children very often. It's a very fun park to visit, Parnell Park. All right, we're at our 14th location. York Field. Yes, York Field. York Field, located on the corner of Mulberry Drive and Santa Fe Springs Road. The park consists of a huge children's playground, which is covered and keeps cool during those hot summer days. It also has two softball fields, one baseball field, a covered picnic area, and barbecue pits. It's very common to see softball leagues playing tournaments during the evening here at this park. The city of Whittier also holds a pretty spectacular 4th of July firework display. And there you have it folks, York Field Park. So we're narrowing it down to our last two parks. Coming in at number 15 is Broadway Park in Uptown Whittier. Broadway Park, located on the corner of Broadway Road and Milton Avenue. The park is within walking distance to Uptown Whittier, where you have a lot of shopping and eateries. This cute park sits in the historic neighborhood of Whittier 
and is surrounded by unique style homes, beautiful homes. The park is relatively small and consists of tennis courts, which are across the street from the park, horseshoe pits, children's playground, picnic tables, and of course, our barbecue pits. When in Uptown Whittier, come visit Broadway Park. And finally, our final park coming in at number 16 is Kennedy Park. Kennedy Park located at 8530 Painter Avenue. This park is small and consists of a newly renovated playground area, a cute kids stage with benches, a small rock climbing wall, outdoor classrooms, and barbecue pits. This park is a nice park to bring the children to play and to join in the activities that the park holds. This is Kennedy Park. Two days worth of running around from park to park. Total of 16 parks. Additionally, there's five other parks that are in the city of Whittier, but they're in the unincorporated part of Whittier. One of them being Adventure Park and Mayberry Park and... Los Altos Park, Amigo Park, and Sorensen Park. Those are the additional five that are in the unincorporated area of Whittier. So the city has so many beautiful parks. I mean, we some of these parks we didn't even know existed, but I'm glad that we were able to take you along with us on this small ride journey. Uh, you can come out to these beautiful parks during the summer. Some of them have the concerts in the park, some really nice slides, tennis courts, basketball courts, I mean, you name it. Lots uh, of holiday parties and events throughout the year that happen at these parks yeah, as well. Yeah, Penn Park, uh, they have the quinceanera uh, photograph picture taking, the weddings. The city planned out this whole park situation really well. They're in great, uh, great, nice little community pockets and we're just happy we were able to bring you along on our little visit. Thanks for watching Discovering Whittier. If you know of somebody that might be interested in coming out in one of our videos, just tell, uh, reach out to us. Call us at 562-756-6465 or send us an email at discoveringwaiter at gmail.com. Thank you again for watching us. Look forward to more and many more of our videos. See you on the next episode.